Kenzo playing in Gosu as his Hanzo account. So he has ranked up the enemy. He has bronzes and the enemy team are silver. The enemy team also have 1.25 times HP. Cha has banned Widowmaker, so he can't play Widowmaker and he has to swap his hero after every death. He cannot use his ultimate and he has one less player in case you didn't notice. So let's see if he can make it happen on Havana, his map pick. Okay, so if we're going Diva, let's just hold around the corner here. Coming, coming to you. So Rapier Man is a real uh, stalwart. Oh my god, this is hard. Well, I think his crosshair is throwing him off, man. I think his lack of crosshair is throwing him off, but like... Because remember, this is what Kenzo sees. He has no crosshair. Oh no, yeah, he does have his crosshair. Fuck it. I'm sorry, I'm lying. I'm just straight up lying. He has his crosshair. And his Doomfist is a bunch of arrows inside him. So that's good. So by the way, Kenzo, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, nice. We're going to see some arg like headshots, I hope. Oh, this Widowmaker just jiggle peeking. Oh my god. I don't know how she lived. But, um... He was talking before the game. He was like, do I go King's Road? Do I go Havana? I said, you should go Havana because I don't think the Silvers know how to play Havana. And I've been so far proven right where the Doomfist... Oh, the trap! The bait and the finish there. He just sets the trap for the Moira, waits for her to walk in, gets her. We do lose our D.Va, though. Thank you. I'm going to have to play back. Oh, no. Ah, uh, we lose the D.Va and our Mercy. Oh, uh, sorry, 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 Down two. Sorry. Get out. Everybody get Everybody's out. Everybody get out. Get out. Two on the left. Going to payload. Widow right side. Widow. I figured it would be nice to give him an incentive to sniper gap, you know? Kill the Widowmaker that's been banned. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow, there's a lot of pressure on Kenzo right now. I mean, understandably, they're all just trying to int on him. His Mercy is trying to get to him, I think. Yeah, she gets to him. I can see the desperation hop of the Mercy, which was like... I've s Ooh, that's, I'm, that's, I'm good so far. That's one. I'll tell him in a second. Nice. We've lost Mercy. He's dinking. We have lost Mercy. Oh, big Suzu. Big Suzu. Oh, another one! Pushing That's three up. in this fight. He's just ignoring the Doofus because oh, he knows. My bad. They're coming in. Here, here he comes. Bombing. Three, two, one. Oh, we lose our mercy. Big bomb, maybe. Ah, oh, dude, this is tough. Oh, oh my god. Little tracer down below you. I mean, third point Havana is always hard to break down. It's very, very tough, I think. Like... Kenzo's first time on the gauntlet, so he doesn't necessarily understand that, like, the enemy having HP up and being a higher rank and having one more player is a lot to manage, and you basically have to kill five every fight if you want to win. This is, like, what my normal lobbies are like, to be fair, which is, like, you gotta kill five if you want to win, but... Oh, my God. Oh, what the... No pulse bomb. Down two. Hey, where's he going? And I'm out. I'm going down. I'm going down. Getting, uh, so, you know. Uh... He's gonna run out of hit scan soon. He's still got the Ash option. Ooh, that was nearly a good delete on the Kiriko. Oh my god, dude, they're mauling Sense. him. They're absolutely mauling him. Can we get a res? Big res, big res. Oh, Trailer, Kitsune payload. Rush. Kitsune rush. Not gonna see now this oh thing. Oh my god, this is tough, dude. Soldier down. More Ooh. ulting. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, we, uh, we can't even get tack visor because we don't have our ult on. He's gonna have to juke for ages. He's trying to get rid. Oh, he popped his ult. No, he's not supposed to. Hello. Oh. No. Okay. Oh, my bad. Kenzo, by the way, you have your ult off, so you're gonna have to unbind it. I'm afraid. Remember? Oh yeah. No, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. No worries. No worries. It's all good. I'll be generous because it's your first time. They do have a sombra though, so that could be annoying. I'm on right side. You got a Risa, don't they? Yeah. Yep. I see him. I see him. Unfortunately, this is what bronze callouts are. They have a Risa, yes, they do. We've seen the Risa. Oh god. Risa oh. on left. Yeah, this is so tough, dude. This is so tough. They're just like tactically. Like I, I did say, they were gonna like tactically try and hunt him down. Oh boy, did they hunt. Get ready. Ooh, one more headshot. Yeah. Ooh. Oh god. Right. Game it. Oh. oh, that junk crab was so low, dude. And the other thing is, like, I think there's too much, there's too much anti synergy here. Like, I think the thing with ultimate is, you kind of, you play if you're playing like four v five, right, and you're getting the hard pocket. The one benefit you have is okay. Well, I could farm ult quickly, 
And if you don't have your ultimate, it all becomes pointless. You're just going to have to get a limbs the vanilla way. And he does a good job, gets one. And taking the Kiriko out is a big kill. So that might help him break this down in the long run. His Ash is slapping right now. Even with the Orisa trying to hunt him. If he takes out the Mora. Arana just vibing in the back there. She needs some help. Nice. nice. That's kill number two. Kill number two on Bloodline, guys. He only needs four more. Okay, I'm concentrating on me. Oh, I thought that was a junk trap, but it's his trap. Oh my god, he's farming now. Okay, now Ash is the one, man. Ash is the one. He's got the coach gun from ability, and the Orisa can't seem to hit that. Oh. No spin. They're probably close to an Orisa ult, though, so we gotta be careful of that. I think you can get on the high ground here. If he gets on the high ground, I don't know if they'll ever dislodge him. I think he just goes up in the window. They'll never stop him. Okay, ults are coming online now. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Almost. Going down, Almost. going down. Soldier on oh, left geez. flanking. Okay. What can Genji get cooked? I don't know about Genji as a carry hero without blade. Seems quite hard, but we'll find out. Maybe he'll pull out some shenanigans. You got the Genos Genji. One punching it up. Steal bomb, steal a bomb. The Kiriko just suzuud. So if he can get one... Oh, she teleports out. One more hit and she would have been gone. But remember, she has more HP, so probably wouldn't have been at that one hit threshold. She'd probably already been dead if it wasn't for that. Nah, that's yeah, too much. Just ignore this on now. Watch it. Nah, this is too much, I think, guys. This is too much. Okay, he tries his own Sombra pick. Okay. I've, I don't know what the Kenzo Sombra is like, but let's find out. He's looking. He's waiting. Sombra is hard to carry with, dude. As I found out in my own experiences, he's hard to carry with. But maybe Kenzo can have some goaded tracking. Oh, the EMP. Was that for Kenzo? I think it was, dude. I No one else got hacked. So I think that was for like a solo EMP to try and stop Kenzo translocating out. I'm at point. I'm at point. Um, That's it. Done. Uh, nice. Uh, try. Unlucky uh, gamers. Sorry, Harder unlucky. than I thought. They were not only more players, they were higher rank and they had more HP. So it's like, you know, at that point, your team just can't I overcome would say that. The HP wasn't the biggest issue. I would say uh, the biggest issue was one less play, I would say. Mm hmm. That was the hardest part of it. <laughs> I know you just said 4v5 was hard, but you can double stack some of the handicaps. So like the, the worst ones, you can double stack. So if you wanted to double stack, uh, rank up the enemy, enemy HP up, or one less player, I would let you do that. So for example, Arg okay. tried Arg tried 3v5 in bronze, for example. Two less players. All right, guys, so here we go. Kenzo is 3v5 in bronze. So his team is bronze. The enemy team is bronze. This is worth 700 points. So this would put him on top of the rank gauntlet above LH Cloudy. I'm going to make it so that Artia on the enemy team is your kill X player. Every time you kill him, three points. Okay. So I picked the Hanzo again just because I want to see the sniper gap. You know, why not? Yeah, so again, I think the key thing is here that his team should just... Ooh. Okay, he gets one little dink on the Kiriko. She then cleanses herself. Ah, we lose our mercy. That's a little bit of a problem. Hey, there's one. There's one kill on the Hanzo. See, the enemy team is actually not pushing the Sigma. Our Sigma's doing a great job of actually... He's, he's been alive. He's been vibing this whole time. The D.Va, formerly of our team from last game, now on the enemy team. Our Sigma's cracked, dude. He's not... Like, I would feel like a normal Bronze Sigma would just have died by now. Oh, the Mercy comes in clutch. Huge healing. The D.Va over commits to try and finish this off. All right. Big finish on the D-Mech as well. This this, this is going good, man. Oh, the auto-aim is coming out now. The Symmetra pick. Uh-oh. Whoa, this Kiriko is getting creative in the back line. What's happening here? Okay, he gets a body shot. Okay, this will be good. Now that he has wall hacks, he can just kind of do whatever he wants. He can pick whatever target he wants to hit. These are really good bronze play. Oh, nice. That's two. Three! Well, three kills total, but two kills on the on the Symmetra, which is two for the counter for his bounties. But this is really going well, dude. They've got the lead. They don't have to do it. Oh my god, he gets another one. 
Oh, that Kiriko's head was very narrowly missed. Our Mercy is ju juking and dodging from the D.Va. He might be able to do this, guys. He might actually be able to do this. The bronzes are very good, but they're a little bit over patient. Uh oh, our Mercy's getting the Glock out. I'm not a fan. Nah, she dies to the auto turrets. Uh, Valkyrie is ready. Need it. Oh, so God. Like you stay on point and you die on points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm dead now. We still have a huge lead. So all that matters is that Kenzo has the time to go and get a few picks. And the Diva's trying to... Ooh. I saw, like, the lineup of the the bap in his head perfectly with the crosshair, but he just dodges it in time. But yeah, all we need to do is, like, if we even... We can even break this Diva down because she's very, very low. Yeah, we get the D-Mech. That's big. Now we just got nice. a touch point. Sure. Touch point, Sigma. Touch point. Any point touches? There we go. That's big. Oh, she just... Yo, that's a huge kill. She's just chucking her turrets because turrets do the work on their own, I guess. Now, Mercy pops the Valk, but she's not helping us right now. Tac Visor. No, he's shut down by Kenzo. Huge flux. Well, I don't know if it was actually that huge. I just see the corpse of a baby diva on the ground. But you know what? I'll take anything. Ooh, help. Oh. I can help that shot. Man, Kiriko's hard to hit, dude. Kiriko's hard to hit. But doesn't matter. This is why push is good. Because we can give the card up. We won the fight. That's all that matters. We push the card back a little bit. As long as our Sigma lives. As long no as our Mercy lives. We come back. Sight. And we're good. Now again. They're splitting very hard. I think the bronze players. If they realize that they just 5 man. It'd be very good for them. But. The Diva's just trying to hunt us right now. In the meantime. Our, ki our Sigma's getting Kitsune rushed. The Diva. Goes for the Glock. Our Mercy hides. She's kind of LOSing us at the moment. Our Sigma goes down to the Diva. And that's a problem. That's a problem, because now we can't touch, guys. Oh, God. We lost our mercy, too. Oh, shit. Die. Oh, this is tough, dude. This is tough. They've got the lead. This is this is a problem. It's it's really hard, because there's a timer on Kenzo. Like, he has to get kills. He, you know, in a normal game, he can kind of pick and choose. Like, okay, I, I've got the time now to get a kill. But in this game... Dude, it's a match, man. It focused me really hard. Yeah, the bronze are getting, like, the Mercy is getting focused as well, which is a problem. She has to fly away. She leaves Kenzo on his own. And even a bronze diva can mop this up. And she does. Oh, my God. They figured it out, man. The bronzes have figured it out, dude. He's going to switch over to Cassidy, see if that helps. I think it will be easier for the Mercy to pocket a Cassidy and easier for him to do more reliable damage. So maybe this is a good adaptation. Nice thing. Nice thing. Oh, very nice things. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, sorry. My bad. Oh shit. This might be it, chat. This might be it. Oh, the Metro lives on one HP. What? Ah, uh, uh, man. I thought we were really looking good at the start there. Yeah, it looked good in the yeah, start. Then they had. Good, they started then. rolling us. I don't know what happened, really. How we got so I think they just the they end. just yeah. started they started inting on the mercy I think which became very hard for her like yeah. to juke it and also I think Symmetra was a smart pick because it just auto did damage like they were struggling to do damage and the turrets just auto damage right very true yeah they were smart from the bronze team like they adapted well but I I think your team gave it a good shot I think differently next time I would have probably flanked more and not helped my team as much and mm. hope they survive a bit longer because now I played a bit too much with my team in which I was getting focused by the tank, but if I stood a bit further away, the tank would have been able to die me, really. Yes. Then I could have sticked on with the Mekka instead of swapping to Cassidy. There's a lot of approaches to it, but I think that's a good one. I think if you can survive for yourself and then the rest of your team can survive for themselves, then that's how we can win. Yeah. But all right, well, I, thank you so much, man. I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it. I'm like, glad you're theory crafting already for the next time. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Appreciate you very much, dude. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day and uh, unlucky you're not getting the dub. It's all good likewise. Have a good day. Peace out, man. See you later. Faria, she's picked 3v5 in bronze. Oh, boy. Look, see, he just knows the Magno Bang. He's like, look, fellas, I got 130 damage for free. The rest is on you. Yeah, yeah. Barrage that bitch. Barrage that little bitch. This is what we were missing all along is just a flying character. Nobody had picked a flying character. The ultimate weakness of bronze players. He jumps in. He primals. Let's go, Winton. No, Winton! You tossed my guy. <laughs> Chat, not point one two. Will that be the difference between a Cloudy or a Fariha win in the rank gauntlet, dude?